Corsica from below. This is where Stéphane Le Gaillet explores the seabed. The underwater photographer is always looking for the perfect shot. Today he shows us an amazing find. 44 meters beneath the surface lies the wreck of an old ship. We dived to the wreck of the Insuma, a German warship. It was sunk off Bastia on the 9th of September 1943, the day Italy broke with Germany in the Second World War. The many wrecks that lie off the coast of Corsica are the Mediterranean island's best kept secret. Only qualified scuba divers get the chance to see them. Le Gaillet wants his photos to preserve these traces of history. I stuck my head underwater and thought, we have to make these things visible to those people who don't dive. After our excursion, we take the boat back to Bastia. The harbor town is the economic hub of the island. It's well known for its old quarter and for the St. Roche Chapel. One of the best ways to get around the island is to take the narrow gauge railway. Corsicans lovingly call it Trinigelu, or the shaking one. This line's been around for ages, for generations. The trains still travel on the same old tracks. The railway is a bit like Corsica itself. It has tradition, but it's also modern. Pierre Tomi takes the train nearly every day. He works as a chemistry professor in Corte, a small town in the mountain range in the interior. Corte has a long and important history. When the island became independent from France under Pasquale Paoli, Corte became the capital. Today, Corte remains a symbol of the struggle for independence. A citadel towers over the town, which boasts images of the independence fighter Pasquale Paoli. There are lots of young Corsicans here. The town is home to the island's only university. Nearby is the pride and joy of Corsica's railway, a bridge built by the famous architect Gustave Eiffel. We're passing the bridge over the Vecchio. It's one of the most beautiful things on the line. Up in the mountains, there's more adventurous fun to be had. For the past 14 years, Agne Atipiani has led groups of tourists down the river Vergelu. Canyoning is a popular sport in Corsica. The goal is to get down the river, getting around objects either by jumping, climbing or upsiling. The Trinigelu railway heads south from here, out of the mountains and toward Ajaccio. But this is the quickest way down. Ludovic Musok takes visitors paragliding. It's a flight they're not likely to forget. Down the sheer mountain slopes to the valley below. We have a really pleasant climate with lots of good weather. We're protected from strong winds, and that makes a big difference. Corsica is one of the best places in the world for paragliding. Our last stop is Ajaccio. It's the capital of Corsica and the birthplace of Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of France from 1804 until 1814. 64,000 people live here. But in summer, the city center is often deserted as residents head to the sea. Some of the best beaches are at Capo de Feno. The classy beach bar Le Pirate is especially popular. I try to retain the charm of beach huts. You sit with your feet in the sand, you share tables. It's a place of freedom. Hello. 
The ancient Greeks called Corsica Kaliste, or beautiful. It's a name that still best describes the island to this day.